Attention, if you delete DaVinci Resolve on your iPad, you will lose all local files. This morning I did some settings in DaVinci Resolve. I found a new settings window and I did some self-imposed settings because I tried to improve something and my iPad crashed. Or not my iPad, my DaVinci crashed and I couldn't start it anymore. So I had to reinstall and I wasn't thinking about it anymore because I was still working locally. I didn't use the Blackmagic Cloud and for all my past 20 days, uploading to YouTube every single day, twice a video, so that's 40 projects, they were all saved locally. Luckily, yesterday, I moved my master class to my SSD drive because my internal storage reached the maximum capacity. So I saved the project here. I also made a video for the master class, how you can do this. But today, because of the crash, I had to reinstall DaVinci Resolve and I'm going back into the app and I almost start crying. Why? Because all my project files from my YouTube videos for both channels are not there anymore. Like the videos are there, there. It's just the project files, right? The, the files if you want to go back and you want to change something. So what should you do? Be aware of it, number one. So if you delete DaVinci Resolve and automatically it will save the project files in the DaVinci Resolve folder. What do I recommend? Let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. If you are in the project, here, let's, let's see this one. If you go here, and if you don't see this here on the left side, you just have to click this button here. That one here next to it this is how you will see it you see it's now empty completely empty all my projects locally are gone if you click here you have different libraries that you can create even locally for example my second library is that one here and i still see my english and my german library for the master class luckily and you can add projects with this button here on the bottom and it says create a new one or you can connect an old one what should I have done in the, the past was to move the project folder structure. You can even just move it. It will be enough. Move it to a different folder, not inside of DaVinci Resolve. And then I can delete DaVinci Resolve and I would have saved all my projects. So, or before you even start, if you're now starting with DaVinci Resolve, create a new one in a different folder. So if you only work locally, I would recommend you that you create, let, let's say, for example, here my files. If you are locally on your iPad, maybe make a, make a folder, videos or something, and then save your project files in here as well. The other way is with DaVinci Resolve, there's also Blackmagic Cloud. And Blackmagic Cloud is basically the solution from Blackmagic that you can save your project files, not the videos, just the skeleton from your project. So what I just lost today in the magic cloud for every library but you can have as many projects as you want for any library in black magic cloud you pay five bucks but it has this advantage that you then without thinking can go to your desktop and work with the projects you can go to your ipad and work with the project and without thinking if your ipad version crashes and you have to reinstall project will be there so i think now this black magic cloud becomes even more handy but if you don't want to pay the five bucks like me at the moment, because I'm traveling and I don't have a desktop, I will move to Blackmagic Cloud if I have the desktop because I want to go fast between. The way you can do this is like I said, add a project here. If the very first time create it, or if you already have local ones, I'll show you where it is, okay? Here in the files on your iPad, if you go to DaVinci Resolve, that's the folder, then you will find here the Resolve Project Library. Basically, just copy the whole folder before you delete DaVinci Resolve. That's it for today. I'm Daniel. Bye.